back. We have a Vile Blubber Boost. Today we're playing some more Mega Man X2. Last time I did a lot of stuff. Like a fucking lot of stuff. I also got all the zero pieces, so we're gonna go for Bubble Crab next. This asshole? I remember this asshole. He got upgrades. I think there's something up there I have to get. No, 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 I had it! Yeah, heart attack. Okay, cool. I was worried for a minute there. There's one more thing we have to get here, and unfortunately, I think I need the boss weapon. Oh my fucking god! <clears throat> I think I need the boss weapon to get the thing in here. So that's another fucking outrageous bullshit where it's Boomer Quanger all over again where you need the boss weapon to get the thing, but you have to kill the boss, which exits off the stage. It's fucking stupid. It's because bubble crab, like a crab, blows bubbles. And when you charge that, you'll have bubbles surrounding you, which gives you, I guess, infinite jumps for underwater. And there's like a long stretch of water. But I'm pretty sure if we just charge the flame thing, we'd be at it. You still alive? Wait, what the fuck was that? This ain't it. Oh my god! Oh, thank god. Oh my fucking Christ, dog. Oh no! Oh, thank god water physics are fucking water physics. Like I said, even if the X Hunter isn't there, there's always a way to get to the X Hunter area. Because every stage has to have two boss doors. You know what? Fuck it. It's not like I take damage. Wait, that means I missed the... That means I missed the fucking... whatever. I thought I was right. 
but I wasn't. <clears throat> so I think this guy's weak against the, the, the fucking gator shit. Only because he summons a bubble and this is good at breaking bubbles. Yeah, pretty much. So how does boss work? Every time you're above him, he'll try that jump attack. So you want to use the thing, go above him, and use it again. Hopefully trapping him where he is. If you're fighting with just a Mega Buster, when he summons the, the bubble of protection, you can just jump over him and he'll break his own bubble. That's how that works. So I'll have to come back here for... I think it's a sub-tank I missed. Bubble Splash. <clears throat> I don't know where it is, though. I thought it was... I thought I knew where it was. So let's find out. It's because I took the top path. I should be taking the bottom path. I think this is it. There it is. How do I... How do I fucking do that? You know what, I'm wasting bubbles. There's something up there I gotta dash to? I thought you could just jump out. You can just fucking do that. There it is. How come you didn't let me do it before? Whatever. I got the sub tank, I'm out of here. This game is fucking stupid. fucking snail. Now we're gonna try to do this again, like we did last time, but this time not fuck up. And this time not worry about a fucking X hunter disappearing, because they're all dead. Well, they're all gone. They're not dead. so hard.
Oh my god. There, that piece. That's all the armor pieces in this game. Now, unfortunately, I, like, the headpiece in X1 was pretty fucking useless, because, you know, you break bricks, whatever. X2 shows you hidden items, which is pretty cool, I guess. It's like, oh, that's a secret. Then you can go up here. Yeah, fine. I ain't gonna use it. We literally only got the full armor set only for the hot shuriken. Because again, you need all of them to get them. So this guy, I believe, is weak against the bubbles. I forgot, honestly. But let's find out. He's pretty susceptible to the the Mega Buster, which is nice. You'll know it's his weakness when he, he accidentally shoots off his shell. So I don't think I have his weakness though. Okay, nigga. This is his like secret ability to fucking make things go super slow as he goes super fast because you're not fast at all. That would be threatening if I took damage, which this game on Rookie Hunter mode really does not want me to do. I thought if like every attack did one panel of health, that would have been enough. No, these niggas said you take no damage. What the fuck? So we got that shit. 
Now we just need every single fucking item, which I believe this is the last stage to have them. Like, I believe Magna Centipede has our last heart container. Either that, I think I got the heart container. Yeah, I got that shit. Oh great, I got life. I am missing a sub tank, so maybe it's a sub tank that I get here. That's definitely where it is. <laughs> like, that's not even subtle. Really, Menega? Oh, fuck, I forgot about this. We're gonna fight the wireframe sword? You can only damage on the hilt, so watch out for that. It's kind of annoying. So those are scanners. You don't want them to scan you. And if you're fighting the, the, the X-Hunter, you want to go down the bottom path. But if you're not, you have to come up here. Now this thing scans all your data and then attacks you with like more health and more damage and all that good shit if it scans you. If it doesn't scan you, it's a basic bitch and it doesn't do anything But besides a little itty bitty damage, but again, rookie hunter mode, no damage at all. Hilarious. You can tell when it like, gathers your scan data because that's a whole cutscene and also it turns blue. Dude's we against the silk shot. Yeah, he even breaks his tail. And his tail is very annoying because it can it, it it grabs you, sucks you up, and then fucking attacks you. I think it also sucks your your health, giving him health. So that's no good. Yeah, this is like the only boss I've seen that suffers really greatly from Spark Mandrum Syndrome. Like, it's the only time you can take advantage of it. Like, even uh, Wheel Gator suffers from Spark, Mil Spark Mandrel Syndrome, but that's gonna cost you time, nigga. You might as well just shoot him normally. Hey man, I 
Yes, I've located the X-Hunter's base. It's the same stage that you were in. It's weird, right? It's like you played that stage twice. But we're gonna we're gonna cut a little bit because I need all the shit. So we're gonna find out where all my missing items are. So damn, I wish it told me where I got it. Sponge, sponge. I got. I got the heart container already, and also the sub tank. This is the moth. I only got the armor upgrade. But there's also a heart tank. Did I not get a heart tank here? I had to go for round two, I would have been so fucking mad. That's fucking stupid.
So it turns out I fucking missed it. Cause you need this power. And I guess you gotta use it on this asshole to jump up here. That's fucking dumb. So that's pretty much it. That's I was only missing one hard tank, and that was in a stage that was pretty fucking retarded. Time for Sigma Stage One. And after Sigma Stage One, we'll, we'll probably cut off. Damn, I remember when this was all ang anger-inducing because I needed health. Now I don't need health and. All this is about is fucking... Oh boy. Yeah, remember these guys from the tutorial stage? Yeah, they're, they're back now. So watch out for that. Like right now. Because this is going to get dumber and dumber. I think there's like one more. That's going to get annoying. This guy, these scorpion guys are basically replacing our turtles, so, yeah, this is the hard one. Wait, that's not hard. There's another one. It has to be. Yeah, it's this one. So what you want to do is... Go over here, throw the dirt thing up here, and you kill it. God damn it. Nope. He closed it. What, what am I supposed to do with that? You're supposed to go all the way back down. That... That's a troll. And then you wall jump your way back up. That that's a troll. There. That way he won't be able to do anything. Like it's not that bad, it's just fuck that. Now we're coming up to the fucking moment that I hate. Because the X Hunters are your fucking Sigma Fortress bosses. See how he's summoning platforms? That's so this fucking Wrecking Ball thing can do what it does. That's fucking stupid. I'm supposed to like, oh, it's, go it's going over here. And then it's like rocks back and forth, and you're just like, where the fuck is it going? I just don't like this fucking boss at all. He does so much damage, I'm actually taking damage in Rookie Hunter mode. I want you to know that. All that boss damage I took from Stag, all that fucking bullshit. He, this man, this one fucking boss, gave me damage. That's how much damage he does. Fuck this guy. And they officially die in these boss fights. Fucking piece of shit. Unfortunately, if you don't have the, the zero pieces, beating them here doesn't mean you get the zero pieces. You don't get the zero pieces. If you don't have the zero pieces by this time in the game, you got the bad ending. It's fucking...
fucking annoying. Actually, I want to try something out. Honestly, I think I like this. Hell yeah. You see all those bits? Yeah, this is, uh... I think this is the stage with the shuriken? Yeah, this is the gay part. This is the dumb part. That's gonna be annoying. Oh my god. So there are spikes galore, and as much as I would love to say these spikes do no damage to me, they do all the damage to me. That's just fucking annoying. No! I wanted to fucking boost jump! I swear to god, this game. Oh, this is gonna get annoying. If I didn't have to fucking go crab hand, I'd fucking beat this game already. Whatever. Anytime now. Not away for that fucking platform. Whatever, whatever, fucking please! I'm glad I don't take damage. Or else I'd be severely angry right now. Like, I'm still angry, but not severely. Because I, I have health. I have health to burn. Literally. Because these fucking flamethrowers. Oh my fucking god. I don't care anymore. There's no point to dodge them anyway. So you're supposed to use this thing. And beckon one over here and be like, yep. Yeah. Oh my god. What is this even going to do? I better not die. Oh my god, it's for a life that I just used up? Useless! I hate the stage. The only good thing about X3 is the mere fact that it gives me a boost up. Like, this... X1 gives you a dash. X2 gives you a dash forward in the air. X3 gives you a dash upward in the air. And that's so fucking beautiful. I like...
Like, I can actually, I just have enough time to switch through items and shit. I think it's the fucking old man. I think this guy's only weak to the fucking armor this. Someone wants to hit him in the head, which is weird. I might as well just fucking mega bust with this dude. Piece of shit, dog. This boss is boring, this boss is annoying, this boss is gay. You're kidding me. Filthy ass Ningen, dog. Anyways, with that travesty, we'll see you guys next time on Mega Man X 2 when I get the Shoryuken in the X3, I mean, in the X Hunter 3 stage. Bye, guys!